Good morning, students. So today we're going to be in the magnetic fields unit. We're still in chapter one, but we're in lesson 1.3, evaluating magnetic force evidence. We'll start with the warm up. And in the warm up, uh, we have this claim by Barry, who is another student physicist who ran some tests on how magnets affect other magnets. And he's claimed that strong magnets repel and weak magnets attract. So just take a second and think about in your experience with magnets, does that sound right? That only strong magnets repel and that's all that they do and all that weak magnets do is attract. So if you think about based upon your experience, you'll probably come to the conclusion that Barry is wrong. And this is the evidence that Barry used to support this statement that strong magnets repel and weak magnets attract. So you'll decide whether or not you agree with his claim. And I hope that you don't. And then I want you to look at his evidence here and come up with what he did wrong. Why is his evidence um, weak? And what did he do incorrectly here? So this lesson today is about identifying good evidence and separating that from bad evidence. So you'll answer this question number one and number two. Um, section number two just talks about magnetic poles. Um, it's, it's not anything that you have to do. It's just this right here. And then you'll hit next. Uh, you'll hit, uh, I'm sorry, when you get to two, then you'll hit hand in and turn it in. Then we're going to skip over to section uh, three here. And in Google Classroom, I have attached some uh, evidence cards for you to review. And I'm going to bring those over for you to take a look at here. <clears throat> so they're PDFs and um, I want you to look at them. And again, the, the one of the main aspects of this assignment is looking at evidence and deciding what's strong and it's not. So here we have evidence card A and the next is B and C and D and E. And um, what we have here are a series of experiments. We're working with a strong magnet here. The position of the magnets in test one are uh, with the polarities, uh, the similar polar polarities lined up. So like if this is the North Pole, the North Poles are lined up here. And the results, when the magnets were released, in this case they, case, they moved away from each other. In this case, they moved toward each other. Um, if we go to ev uh, evidence card B, for instance, you can see that the magnets were lined up differently. And what I want you to do is look at all those evidence cards to try to figure out, in your opinion, which evidence card or cards refutes or proves Barry's claims wrong. Okay, so right there is what we're looking for. Um, this is a, a chance for you to just review and use your logic looking at the experiments to decide which evidence card or cards refute Barry's claim. And then we want to narrow it down to which card singular um, is the strongest to, to show him that his experiment was wrong. So you'll look through all of those and you'll just select which one it is. So this is not a hard section um, and it won't take you a lot of time, but I want you to take the time to review all the cards and think about which one you think um, is the strongest evidence and then hand that in. And then we're gonna jump over to the homework. And the hum homework is, homework. the homework is where uh, you are going to use the sim to uh, create a magnet catcher. Okay, so you're going to create a magnet catcher here and you're going to create a magnet launcher here. And so I'll walk you through the first part of this um, and then I'll let you kind of work through the, the magnet launcher part. But you'll open up the sim and what it says here 
is to place a weak magnet horizontally. Okay, that's like it would be laying down at the bottom of the screen. And then set up a locked magnet so it'll attract the weak magnet at a distance. If necessary, test and revise your setup until you find a successful solution. So um, taking a weak magnet and putting that horizontally at the bottom like this, okay? And then I'm gonna take a strong magnet and I'm gonna place it at the top. And then you grab the lock and you lock it. That's gonna keep it from rotating or moving. And then I can click run and see what happens. And you can tell it, it attracts it, okay? It captures it. And we can even go back and we can analyze this, right? And we can put the field lines on which we'll talk more about. And we can see how the fields uh, play into this. And what it says, then once you come up with a successful magnet catcher, take a screenshot and upload it here. So play around with this, get it to uh, where you want it, all right? You don't necessarily have to use the same that I did. You could use two weak magnets or you could put it over here. But then take a screenshot, upload it, and the second part is to place a weak magnet vertically near the left side of the screen and set up a lock magnet so that it will repel the weak magnet off the right side. So we're trying to, uh, remember our video, we're working on using magnets to launch things. So you wanna test that. And when you get that done, go ahead and take a screenshot, upload it, and hand it in. And that would complete lesson 1.3 for magnetic fields.